Hey everybody, Negro VMX here, and welcome back to another 10 matches of Pokemon Showdown to show you. And uh, yeah, so let's see, this one's versus Aelin VV. Let's see what happens. So I start off with a Galissapod lead here, and they have Haunch Crow, so I'm like, alright, this is interesting. They went for Brave Bird. I thought I might be able to take it and maybe go down to my emergency exit or something, but uh, no, Haunch Crow's a beast. Uh, they get a Moxie boost. Uh, Fortunately, they took a lot of damage from the uh, recoil, so I bring in Nine Tails and just Blizzard this thing, kind of a, just a revenge kill. Um, you know, Lolan form Nine Tails, that is, of course. So they bring in Toga Demaru, and I'm kind of wondering what are they going for with Toga Demaru. Um, I tried out a Blizzard just to see if I can freeze it or something. They went for Nuzzle, which of course is going to paralyze me, but I'm still kind of wondering what what can this thing actually do to me like does does it have a move that can actually hit me so in comes uh blissey and uh, i set up a nasty plot there uh just to sort of like um make up for the fact that i wasn't really hitting the toga demaru very hard and because i figured they might swap because i didn't think it could do anything for me so this blissey actually has flamethrower but i actually take it really well so uh you know, that's not that big of a deal. Obviously, the Blissey has leftovers. I have leftovers. They went for another Flamethrower. Um, you know, I don't think I can take another one. I had gone for Blizzard just to see if I can get the Freeze, and I do. I get the Freeze. Um, so that's, you know, I'm feeling pretty great about that right now. Um, unfortunately, they swap out, and that is a natural cure Blissey, so it's no longer frozen. So my second Blizzard gets hit. Uh, the Toga Demaro takes that rather badly. So I'm just like, well, I, I don't know. What is it going to do? It has Iron Head. I don't know why it didn't stay in and use Iron Head before, but Iron Head is going to take me down. So I bring in Mew. Um, they went for Iron Head again. It's not super effective, but it does a lot of damage. I went for Aura Sphere. I just wanted this thing off my screen. And, and you know, Aura Sphere is a move that always hits. So there's that. Unless, of course, you try to use it on a Ghost type. Speaking of Ghost types, here's Shedinja. Um, now, I actually had gone for Aura Sphere because I'm like, oh, right. I, f I was thinking Bug. But I wasn't remembering that it was a ghost type, so they nailed me with X Scissor there, so that just kind of sucks. So, uh, you know, that was a big mistake. So I bring in Bastiodon, uh, Bastiodon with the Air Balloon. They had gone for Shadow Sneak. Um, that doesn't do anything other than pop my balloon, really. And then they went for Will O Wisps. I'm like, oh my god, this Shedinja is really annoying. I throw the Toxic on it because that's uh, it's dead. It only has one hit point, and there's no way that it could ever survive having Toxic on it. No sense in trying to hit it because I'm sure it had a Focus Sash. So Blissey comes back in and goes for Flamethrower. Bastiodon, of course, resists that. I throw a Toxic on it, um, figuring that I'll either force the Blissey to swap due to Natural Cure, or he'll, you know, stay in and I'll get some damage off of it. And, of course, he swaps out and Nihiligo comes in. Uh, Nihiligo has an Air Balloon, which is in, it's important to note that it has an Air Balloon, you guys. So uh, they uh, they hit me with Acid Spray, and my Haxorus takes that pretty well. I went for Earthquake because I did not notice that it had an air balloon, so I'm feeling pretty dumb right about now. And they hit me with another Acid Spray. Of course, Acid Spray racks up because it lowers your special defense. I went for Dragon Claw. It does pretty good damage, but I know I'm going to get outsped. So I bring in Bastiodon because I figure, well, uh, you, can't, you can't use Poison types on him. He is part Steel type, so that worked out well. So um, now I can hit it with Earthquake if I want to. So I take the Power Gem really well, and uh, I misclicked, and it went for Toxic. So that's two mistakes. You know, one was just a dirt mom, and the other was a misclick. Obviously, you uh, you know you can't you can't poison Nihiligo. So I went for a Metal Burst just to see if I can kill it. Uh, it wasn't quite enough. They went for Power Gem. That's also not quite enough. But I'm very close to going down to the burn. The second Metal Burst is going to take Nihiligo down. And, of course, Bastiodon almost goes down to the burn. I was really lucky that it uh, st uh, that it stuck around. Because here comes Granbull. They get the Intimidate off, and then they went for Earthquake. So um, I get a nice, clean swap into Granbull here. So I bring Mew back in, because I figure I might be able to outspeed it and get a Roost off, which I did do. He went for Play Rough. Um, it doesn't do as much as what I'm getting back from Roost. So I'm thinking, if I continually Roost, um, I'll eventually have enough health to you know, actually take this thing on. Unfortunately, then he gets a critical hit. It's not enough to take me out, but that's going to make this annoying. So I'm actually going to speed this part up because this goes on for a while with the play rough roost, play rough roost. Okay, so then he swaps into Blissey. Once my health is up enough, I was going to go for a nasty plot and then roost, but um, since he didn't stick around, I went ahead and did Aura Sphere. They tried to go for Toxic. They missed. 
which is, you know, really good. I know that there's like no sense in trying to get any kind of status on this Blissey because they'll just swap out. So I'm just pummeling it with Aura Sphere. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it is super effective. Um, they get a Toxic off on me, Synchronize poisons the Blissey as well, so I'm like, well, they're going to switch now because they want that natural cure. So that means that I'm going to be dealing with Granbull here. So Granbull comes in, gets the Intimidate off, and uh, I had gone for another Nasty Plot because I'm thinking I can get a free Nasty Plot because I know they're going to switch. And Toxic isn't racking up that much now, so Aura Sphere doesn't really do that much damage to Granbull. Um, they hit me with Play Rough. I'm like, okay, let's... Uh, Let's do something about this because I'm not going to survive another hit of Toxic here. It's really starting to rack up. So I went for Psy Shock. That takes the Grand Bull out. And uh, Mew is, is going to go down here. Oh, oh, actually, wait. No, I'm sorry. Mew uh, survived. So in comes Blissey. So I know I can get one hit off. Um, they went for Protect, unfortunately, so I'm not going to be able to get that hit off. I went for Aura Sphere, but they had used Protect, so the Mew is going to go down. Fortunately, I have the Haxorus and another Pokemon to deal with this Blissey, and it can no longer swap out because it is the last one. So I bring Haxorus out. He breaks the mold, and I went for Earthquake, and that's going to just annihilate the Blissey. So kind of a rough battle where I uh, I made some, you know, very basic errors and uh, also a misclick at one point. That really sucks, but uh, managed to come out on top. So, um, oh, I'm on the wrong side. We'll fix that. I didn't set up properly here. So this next battle switch sides is versus Chunky Rooster, who sends out a Pidgeot, and I have Bob Rockle. Now, Pidgeot can be really scary um, if it's a Mega Pidgeot, but they went for U-Turn right away, so I thought, well, maybe it's not a Mega Pidgeot. So Mega Pidgeot with no guard can be frightening. I'd gone for Shell Smash with the White Herb, and I'm thinking, well, unfortunately, there's not much that Bob Rockle can do to Sunflora. I threw an Earthquake out there just to get a little bit of damage off on it, but uh, they're going to just body me with the Giga Drain and get all their health back other than what they lost to their life orb. So that just sucks. Um, if they didn't have that life orb, I might have survived the Giga Drain. So I bring out Reshiram, they swap into Sock. Um, Sock is really bulky, and he takes the Flame Charge really well, but that's okay. Flame Charge is going to give me that speed boost anyway. They went for Earthquake. It does a lot more damage than I'm willing to take. I went for Dragon Pulse. Um, it does good damage, but, you know, I really have to worry about another Earthquake, so I sent in Tapu Bulu, who gets off the Grassy Surge. They went for Earthquake there. I knew they would. Tapu Bulu, of course, being Grass-type, resists Ground-type moves. That's why I sent it in. So uh, they switch over to Vikavolt, and I'm thinking, all right, this is fine. I'd gone for Horn Leech anyway. Um, it's not going to do a lot to the Vikavolt, but it's it's not the only trick I have up my sleeve. I switch over to Registeel, and the reason I switched over to Registeel is I figured there was either a, a Bug-type move coming or a Flying-type move or an Electric-type move. You know, Registeel uh, is, is a hard Pokemon to get around. He's really annoying. So they sent out Escavalier uh, because I think they just predicted the Toxic, which is pretty amazing because Registeel doesn't always run Toxic. So I'm just like, well, there's not much I can do to Escavalier. I'm just going to start setting up uh, Entry Hazards, and they're going to start setting up Swords Dance because you have to have, like, Sky High Attack to uh, even do anything to Registeel. So I start to use Seismic Toss. It's going to do 79 damage each time, which... You know, isn't too bad, um, especially to a, you know, a, a wall like Escavalier. So they had gone for Drill Run. I don't even think they needed all those Swords Dance, uh, maybe just one or two. So that's going to take uh, Registeel down. I sent Tapu Bulu back down, back out in case he goes for another Drill Run, and I finish him off with Super Power. So that's just great. So Escavalier goes down. So, you know, it's not doing too bad. So the Pidget comes in. Um, good thing that those uh, Stealth Rocks are there, and it is a Mega Pidgeot, and I'm like, okay, this thing definitely has no guard. This is going to be a problem. It's going to start hurricaning me to death, um, and I'm right. Here comes Hurricane. Hurricane is a low-accuracy move, but of course no guard means that all your everything you do hits every time. You can't miss when you have the no guard ability. They go for Roost. I'm thinking this Mega Pidgeot is a major problem. I went for Stone Edge. Not enough Stone Edge has low accuracy but high critical rate. I'm really hoping for critical but I'm thinking at this point, this bird is so bulky, I might not even, you know, kill it with a critical, and it might get a roost off. I do get the critical. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that wasn't even a critical. It was just a higher damage roll. But I'm thinking, well, here comes here comes roost, right? No, they went for hurricane, so that's really interesting. So I was hoping, you know, I only have two Pokemon left, and, and he has five, so this is just going badly. I went for Conkledur, um, and I actually got it with Mock Punch. I figured it would go for, for roost. So I was like, well, Conkledur has a... Uh, 
a priority move and I was thinking well at least I can you know do you know kill it with that even though it's not super effective so Sunflora comes out um, he takes the mock punch pretty badly I'm actually locked into mock punch right now because I believe this is a choice band Vika Volt comes out does not enjoy the uh, the entry hazards and that's a good thing that it took so much damage from the entry hazards because mock punch isn't really doing much but I'm pretty much like I'm locked in. I don't see any reason to switch at this point. I'm going for it. So we're, we're making a comeback here. So Bug Buzz is doing a lot more damage. But, um, you know, just enough that I, I survived and got off one more Mach Punch. Unfortunately, the Vika Volt lived at 1% and takes down my Conkeldur. So I only have one Pokemon left to take down three. It's Caldeo. So I went for Icy Wind there just because it has high accuracy. And I wanted to get this thing out of there. In comes Sock. I'm thinking I can actually take care of Sock. Um, they went for close combat. It does more than half my health, but now their defenses are down. And like I said, Sock's pretty bulky, so it was a good thing he went for that. I went for Hydro Pump, um, and thankfully it hit, and that that's going to take the Sock down. So in comes Bronzong, and at this point I'm like, well, it's GG. I, I lost. I'm not going to be able to take this thing out. Uh, so I went for the Hydro Pump. They went for uh, Gyro Ball, which is not doing enough damage, so I'm thinking... Does Bronzog not have anything that can hit my Keldeo? That's pretty crazy. The second Hydro Pump goes, they went for Earthquake. That's the better choice, but I survived it. So I'm thinking, if this Hydro Pump hits, I win. But it has low accuracy. Let's see what happens. I actually get it and pull off the uh, the victory, the really, you know, come from behind victory there. So, oh, God, I'm on the wrong side. Uh, I didn't set these up properly. This next one's versus Boy234. And they sent out Buzzswole. He sure is swole. I have a Hypno. So this is not a great matchup. I know there's a Bug-type move coming, so I decided to switch over to Salazzle. They actually went for Poison Jab, which is good because Salazzle takes that. You know, that Salazzle is Poison-type. Um, I'm thinking at this point they might be locked into Poison Jab because they did it twice in a row. I went for Fire Blast, and of course it missed. They went for Poison Jab again. They're definitely choiced. Um, and, and it's doing a little more damage than it would do normally so that has to be like a choice band or something so the second fire blast hits takes down the buzz well in comes shaman well shaman's weak to fire too and he goes down I, I was thinking maybe they were thinking that i would miss or something in comes zip strike well i can't kill this thing in once and it outspeeds me the wild charge is going to take salazzle down but salazzle really did his job they're taken out two Pokemon pretty cleanly. So I sent in Gliscor, pretty much the trolliest Pokemon there is. They went for a Hidden Power. I don't know which one that is. I decided to start setting up the Stealth Rocks and just let my Toxic Orb activate. Of course, Gliscor has the ability um, Poison Cure, which means that Toxic will heal him instead of doing damage. And it, of course, it'll rack up the longer you stay in. So Gliscor can be pretty much, um, pretty much invincible unless you... Uh, get an ice move off on it because it is double weak to ice. So Zebstraka survives the earthquake. Um, I've started to think, well, we might switch out now because he's not going to want another earthquake. And I actually uh, misclicked there. I was going for something else. I forget what move, but I actually accidentally hit stealth rocks, which were already out. So we're about to find out. Oh, I guess I, went, I did go for earthquake. But um, yeah, I was looking at the chat and, and a whole, you know, wasn't paying attention where I'm clicking and hit Stealth Rock, so that kind of sucked, but in comes Pangoro, um, it doesn't matter because Gliscor is just going to continually heal, Pangoro is a real problem though, I decided to see what is he going to hit me with, so I hit a uh, Protect, he has Ice Punch, there's no way that Gliscor is going to be able to take an Ice Punch, it does not have good defense, so I sent in Diancy, and uh, they actually went for a knockoff there, I think they're trying to get rid of my Poison, uh, my Toxic Orb, so I Mega Evolve into Mega Diancy and hit it with Moonblast and, and Pandora, Pandora. Pangoro goes down like a sack of bricks. And then they rage quit. I don't know what their last two Pokemon were, but, you know, that was uh, that. was that. So this next one's versus Zungu. And uh, in this battle, I start out with Slurpuff, and they start out with Behean. So this is just kind of a whatever. Um, I had a berry and belly drum, so I decided to go for that already. Uh, the Citrus Berry brings me back to three quarters of my health, and they take me down to half with Signal Beam, which unfortunately confuses me. So I'm thinking I'm, I'm even going to body myself or I'm going to hit him. Unfortunately, I hit myself in confusion. It doesn't go well, but uh, instead of attacking me, they went for Trick Room there, and then, of course, they're going to outspeed me for Psy Shock. So Slurpuff didn't get to do anything. The Confuse really wrecked him. So I sent in Curum. Curum's not super bulky, but uh, I figure I can make something happen. The Psy Shock does a lot of damage. 
but I was able to get Outrage off. Unfortunately, the Behem lives, so, well, you know what's going to happen next, right? I can't switch out. I'm locked in. Psyshock takes out the Curum, but the Behem goes down to its life orb, so, um, you know, I'm down here, but not out. So I sent in Vile Plume, and would you know it, I sent in my Venusaur. So I'm thinking, here we are, two idiots staring at each other. He went for Sleep Powder which uh, Venusaur is immune to. I went for Sleep Powder, which Vileplume is immune to. How crazy is that? So that's just nuts. So um, I went for Sludge Bomb. I didn't think it would do quite that much damage, so I'm thinking this is not a very uh, bulky Vileplume. They also went for Sludge Bomb. So um, it's just crazy. I went for another Sludge Bomb since it was doing good damage. They also went for Sludge Bomb. So I'm thinking, well, I'm going to win this cause I'm, just because I'm outspeeding it. But this is just a really crazy... Actually, I went for Giga Drain just to get a little bit of health back there. But um, it's just crazy how that's happening, you know. And, uh, plus the fact that I'm, I'm losing health to my life orb, so I need to get something back so I can hit whatever comes in. Unfortunately, it's Dialga, so I'm not going to get much back there. I popped his balloon at least, but Dialga is just going to body my Venusaur there. Weirdly, they went for Thunderbolt. I think they were thinking that I would switch out at that point, but uh, there was no sense in it. So I bring in my uh, Mega Heracross, and he's going to immediately Mega Evolve. Mega Heracross is a beast. He takes the uh, Draco Meteor pretty well, and I'm thinking I might even be able to survive a second one. Close Combat is going to take the Diagonal down now. Um, so now my Defense and Special Defense are, are down, but Heracross is an offensive Pokemon. So in comes Yen Mega. Um, they went for a U-turn. I think they were just trying to get some chip damage off on me and maybe bait me into doing something that would not work on Polyrath. But um, I had gone for Pin Missile anyway, but just because um, I think my ability was Skill Link, and I was like, well, this will hit five times. Polyrath takes it pretty well. Um, all things considered. So I'm thinking, I don't know what I'm going to do to this thing. Uh, they go to this for the skull. That's going to take me down. So, um, you know, it's 3v2 here. I'm, I'm not winning. So let's see what I can do, though. So I sent out Harambe. Uh, Harambe, uh, you know, they, they must have misclicked because they went for sleep talk, even though they weren't sleeping. So I went for Psy Shock. That's going to take off most of his health there. So I'm thinking they, they had to have misclicked. They can't have meant to use sleep talk. So they go for skull. They're obviously trying to burn me, which is... Not the smartest, because Aranguru is uh, special, and I'm able to get him with a Thunderbolt. So in comes Exploud. Um, this thing's kind of scary. They went for Fire Blast. Uh, Aranguru is pretty bulky. Um, Focus Blast is going to take him down to 20% of his health. But I'm thinking, well, I'm going to get outsped here, so I might as well just let it happen. Let Harambe die again and uh, get a clean swap for my last Pokemon. That's so important. It is two cannon. So uh, they went for Fire Blast. Thankfully, it missed... Um, and I get the Brick Break off to take Exploud down. So I know their last Pokemon is the Yen Mega, and um, obviously I have an advantage over it being a flying type. So I set up the Beak Blast just thinking they're probably not going to be able to hit, take me out in one shot. They went for Ancient Power, which is super effective, but it's not a super high damage. Um, they're obviously not a technician, and they didn't get a boost, so the Beak Blast is going to take them out, and uh, that's game. So this next one is versus So Uncivilized, obviously a quote from Star Wars. Oh, oh there's the music. Okay, okay. So uh, they sent out Corsola and I sent out Hariyama, so I'm thinking they might swap. But uh, So I didn't go for fighting move because I figured they would swap. I just went for knockoff. But they did decide to stay in just to set up the stealth rocks. Um, but now I'm locked into knockoff, so it's like it's kind of whatever. I thought they might switch into like a... Psychic type and the knockoff would do a lot of damage. They get the toxic off, but the third knockoff is going to take them down. So I was predicting that they would do something smart by switching into psychic, and I was countering that, but they didn't do it. But it worked out. Now they switch into psychic. It's Deoxys. Unfortunately for them, I'm locked into a dark type move, so, you know, and this is not Deoxys, um, you know, defense form. That was the, the normal form, so it. It, it wasn't able to take that. In comes Togekiss. I know this thing's going to take me out uh, with an Air Slash. Fortunately, I lived the first Air Slash. I was able to get just a little chip damage and get rid of his leftovers, so that was good. And then, of course, I go down to the Toxic. So it was good that I lived there just enough to get the, the, the knockoff off. So I sent him Dua Blade. Obviously, it's an Eevee Light set. Um, they sent him Cloyster, and I'm thinking, well, that actually works out pretty well. Um, I'd gone for Swords Dance. I figure they're probably going to go for Shell Smash. They actually go for Spikes. So I'm thinking, well, maybe they're 
you know, not going to. So I went for Iron Head. Uh, I didn't get the flinch, but it does okay damage. Cloister is is very bulky in regular defense. Now they're going for Hydro Pump. They just they just want me gone. So I went for another Iron Head. Unfortunately, no flinch that time either. And uh, they go for another Hydro Pump, and that's going to take Dual Blade down. So he didn't do quite as good as I was hoping. Uh, Cloister is is a is a tough nut to crack. So I bring in Kyogre, um, and I set up the rain. And I, my thought here was to just, you know, get off a skull, kill this thing, and then see what I can do. Uh, so that worked out, but unfortunately Kyogre doesn't do too well against Sarina. Um, I went for skull just to see if I can burn it, but I don't get the burn. And then Power Whip, there's no way that Kyogre could uh, be bulky enough to take that. And it wasn't even Mega Kyogre, uh, Primal Kyogre, rather. So I sent in Dodrio because I figure, well, uh, I could at least force a swap. They went over to Togekiss. Um, the Brave Bird hits the Togekiss instead, so thankfully that thing's gone. Togekiss is uh, really annoying. So in comes Watchog, and I'm thinking, well, might as well. So I hit him with the Brave Bird. It just lives on 2% health, and uh, the return is easily going to take me down because I was I was down to almost nothing from uh, recoil damage anyway. So it's 2v2, but their Watchog is pretty much done. I sent in Delphox. Delphox is the guy to get this done. Um, I went for Grass Knot just because I figured they might um, switch or something. Um, actually, I, f I knew they wouldn't switch, so I, that's why I went for that. So in comes the Sarina. You know what's coming, Fire Blast, and thankfully it hits, and Sarina is toast, and that is game. So this next battle is versus Jeffiza. And uh, I start off with Regirock here. Oh, not my favorite legendary. They start out with Krikatoon, though, so I'm thinking... Okay, they're going to switch, and they do. They switch right over to Volcanion. I gun for Stone Edge. I get a critical. Volcanion goes down like nothing. That Volcanion didn't even stand a chance. So they swat, uh, They brought in Octillery, and I thought, well, here comes a water move. So I went over to Go Goat. They actually went for Energy Ball, and it does nothing because he has Sap Sipper. So I went for Horn Leech. That's going to take the Octillery way down. Um, the, the Life Orb made that a, pretty much a sure thing. So Krikatoon comes back in, and I'm expecting a Bug-type move. So I decided to bring Porygon Z out, because Porygon Z is, is really problematic for to get around. It, it has um, a lot of moves. They're switching in Serena. So I went for Tri-Attack, just because it was pretty much my best option at this point. It does a lot of damage in the second Tri-Attack, because Porygon Z is so fast, he's able to take Serena down pretty easily. So in comes Scyther. Of course this thing's going to have Evil Light, but um, I'm... Pretty much stuck on Tri Attack. It's my best option, and I get a Paralyze off. Tri Attack has a 10% chance of uh, doing status. It could be Paralyze, Freeze, or Burn. You know, they went for Brick Break there. That almost takes me out. So I know I can get one more Tri Attack off. Might as well do it. Bapu Beep, he's done. So Scyther goes down. This Porygon Z has done a great job. In comes Ho Oh. Now I'm actually starting to think I might be able to 6 0 this guy. Uh, so I decided to save uh, save him. So I bring in Regirock. Um, the Sacred Fire does burn him, unfortunately. It doesn't do any damage, really. But it does burn the Regirock, which pretty much hobbles what it could do. They go behind their substitute, and I'm going for Stone Edge, is really my only option. Even with a burn, Stone Edge is pretty much going to kill Ho Oh. Um, so. I'm going to actually speed this part up because it's pretty much just them using Substitute over and over again and me using Stone Edge over and over again. So, you know, this is annoying, and every once in a while they get off a Sacred Fire, which is not doing any damage, and then I'm missing on occasion, so this is just really annoying. Uh, they go for Brave Bird. That didn't really do enough damage, and that was a critical. So, you know, we can't really do anything to each other, um, and even with the leftovers, though, I know eventually they're going to go down. Um, so I get off my rest at, with the Chesto Berry, but I know they're just gonna they're just gonna hit me with Brave Bird or something, uh, or Sacred Fire Gun. But they actually went for Toxic. They know I have rest, but I also don't have another Berry, so I can't you know wake up immediately again. So the Ho Oh, you know, this is a stally Ho Oh, which is not something you see all that often. Usually, you know, he's he's an he's an attacker, a sweeper, or something like that. So this is a really interesting Ho Oh. So I just let me slow this down. I decide to swap over to Vika Volt. Because I'm thinking, well, you know, Vikavolt, uh, well, he gets owned by Sacred Fire, but he doesn't um, he doesn't get uh, burned. I went for Bug Buzz because it does go through the substitute, but it's not nearly enough damage. Hollow does double resist that after all. So I sent him for Alligator. So they went for Sacred Fire again. Of course, I resist that, even though it was a critical, and thankfully I don't get burned. It's a 50% chance of a burn, so it, it's pretty much a coin flip. So they go for Toxic, which is okay. Uh, I'd rather be 
toxic poison and burned in this case. I went for liquidation, finally get rid of their sub. I know they're going to go for substitute again. I know it. So it's like, whatever, just let it happen. Um, and since they, uh, you know, now only have 9% health, they're going to get a little back, but I know they can't do another substitute. You need at least 26% health. They went for Brave Bird to hopefully take me out. Unfortunately, I don't get the 6-0 because of Toxic for Alligator. It is going to go down to Toxic here. Um, so that, that just sucks. Uh, this would have been my first 6-0 other than that. But uh, all I have to worry about now is Krikatoon, but I have five Pokemon. I decided to reveal my last one, which is curum white uh i was saying where is he there he is i went for fusion flare this thing has a focus sash can you believe it they went for toxic i don't know what they were really planning to do like with this cricket tune but uh whatever the second fusion flare is going to take him down and that's game so this next one's versus a booty it is a booty indeed let's see what happens so i sent out garchomp this is a mega garchomp i'm not a big fan of mega garchomp but Whatever, it's not like he's holding an item, so I might as well Mega Evolve him and uh, Earthquake this muck. It goes down. Uh, so, hey, Mega Garchomp did something. It's not a terrible Pokemon. It's just if you have Garchomp, you might as well not Mega Evolve it. And that's why, because they bring in their Garchomp, and they immediately outraged me to death. If I was a regular Garchomp, I, we would have had a speed tie, but um, you actually lose speed when you're Mega Garchomp. So um, I bring in my Frostlash to revenge this kill, uh, revenge kill this thing with... Uh, Ice Beam. They bring in Relicant. Um, I mistakenly thought of this thing as like uh, rock and ground instead of rock and water, so I went for Ice Beam. I'm like, all right, it's rock and water. It resists Ice Beam. So Head Smash is going to take Frostlass way down. And that, that did so much damage, I think this thing has to either have a, you know, like a choice item or something. But it didn't. It actually had leftovers when I got rid of their item with my uh, Lipert. So it's just that powerful. So I switch over to Fortress because I'm thinking, well, it has the best defense out of my whole team. They are going for Waterfall, obviously hoping to flinch me. Fortress is pretty slow, so I'm kind of worried about that. Uh, but then they switch over to Earthquake, so I'm like, okay, that's fair. Um, I decide to set up Stealth Rocks because Fortress is bulky. He has leftovers. He can stick around at least for a little while. Um, they went for another Waterfall there. I went for Spikes. I'm, I'm just going to be setting up. I know I can... Uh, take this thing out but uh you know i have a plan so they went for earthquake again i know i'm not going to take another earthquake but i'm like all right let's put out more spikes whatever it's cool so uh, they went for earthquake again can you believe i actually lived so i decided to volt switch out of there um i can't believe i lived that one it, it definitely did less damage and i bring in regigigas and of course regigigas has the slow start it um it nerfs your attack and your speed for five turns, which kind of sucks. They went for Toxic. That's probably one of the best things you can do against Regigigas uh, because he pretty much has to stay in for five turns because if you swap him out and then swap him back in, slow start starts all over again. So I'm just using Drain Punch to sort of try to counteract the, um, the Toxic. You know, that's the best thing that I can do, and I finally take the Relicanth down. Plus, Drain Punch is super effective, but Relicanth is just a beast. I mean, holy crap. So they send in Torterra, and it's like, oh, God, this stupid tree turtle. They go in for Wood Hammer. It does a lot of damage. Uh, no joke. That That's a lot. I go for Return. Oh, man, I know if uh, my slow start ended, that would take him out. My slow start does end, but I'm definitely going to go down to Toxic. I have to make this happen. I know I'm faster than him now, so I go for the return and take down the Torterra. And, of course, Toxic is going to wipe out Regigigas, even with the leftovers. It, you know, it had been racking up for quite a while. So they have two Pokemon left. I send Lipart out uh, just to maybe knock off whatever is going to come out. It's Aerodactyl. Now, I think I go for Ly um, knock off here anyway. Um, oh, actually, I went for Sucker Punch. Because I figured he was going to kill my uh, Lipard. He went for Stone Edge, so that at least confirms that it's uh, probably not a Mega Aerodactyl, since there's really no reason not to Mega Evolve him right away. So I bring Fortress back out. Um, I knew I was going to go down, but I was figuring, eh, whatever. Whatever. Let him die. So, um, actually, I probably shouldn't have done that, because he gets a little leftovers back. So Lycanroc is going to be the savior here. I went for Acceleroc. Um, that's going to, you know, Rock doesn't resist itself, so it's, you know, it is a flying type. And then he brings in a second flying type. Those uh, stealth rocks are really important, and the second Acceleroc is going to take that Honchkrow down in one shot, and that is game. So, uh, you know, Lycanroc was the, uh, and that is a dusk, dusk form Lycanroc. He was the savior of that one. So this one is versus Palpoke, so I'm going to have to switch spots here. Okay, so they start off with uh, Honchkrow. Hey, we just saw Honchkrow. 
Amazing. I showed off with Licky Licky. Um, I'm thinking, what can I possibly do to this thing? They went for Super Power. It's, uh, it's a lot of damage, but now their attack and their defense are down. I went for Swords Dance, and I'm kind of regretting it now because I'm thinking the second Super Power is easily going to take me out, even with that. But uh, they decided to switch over to Marshadow. So I'm thinking, all right, they're one step ahead of me because they know that I'm going to do like either Body Slam or Return or something like that. And they go for Spectral Thief. I'm thinking they're thinking that I'm going to uh, uh, swap. So I had gone for Power Whip because I figured they're going to do a Ghost type move expecting me to swap. Unfortunately, I missed. So now they send in Crobat. So when somebody's thinking one step ahead, you have to start thinking two or three steps ahead. I went for another Swords Dance. So Licky Licky is very dangerous right now. They swap over to Chime Cho. Um, I went for Power Whip. That almost takes it out. Almost. Not quite, though. And, you know, they get a little health back from their leftovers. So uh, they went for Healing Wish, and I'm kind of thinking, well, that's not going to work because uh, they have a Life Orb. So I had gone for Power Whip. Obviously, there's no Pokemon on the field. So in comes Marshadow. The Healing Wish happens, but um, it already had full health. So they go for Close Combat. That's going to finally take my Licky Licky down. But uh, at least they get a Defense and Special Defense drop. So Marshadow is, is pretty much very... Uh, I could probably just push him over at this point. Unfortunately, he swaps out to Whimsicott. Before my Blossom can Giga Drain him, uh, I think they were thinking, well, here comes a Grass-type move, right? And they're right. So this person obviously is a swapper. Uh, they went for Tailwind there. I actually went for Moonblast. Moonblast does a lot better damage. So I'm thinking, well, they're not going to take another Moonblast, but I wonder if they might, you know, if their last Pokemon is, is something that can resist that. Unfortunately, it's not. They bring in Cor Honchcrow, and that gets pretty much bodied by Moonblast. It has very little... Um, health left, and I got the special attack drop. Um, they went for Brave Bird. It's going to kill my Blossom, but the Honchcrow is also going to go down to the recoil damage. So, uh, you know, it's uh, it's pretty even at this point. They send their Crobat back out. I sent out Quillfish. Quillfish gets off the Intimidate. Quillfish the Mighty is, of course, something that you're... I actually thought of going for Taunt there, but I didn't, and then they went for Taunt, but it's like whatever. But um, actually, Quillfish had three non-attacking moves, so I pretty much am locked into Liquidation, which is fine. I uh, wasn't going to go for any non-attacking moves. So here comes Whimsicott. I think they know that I only have Liquidation, and Whimsicott is obviously going to resist that. But the thing is, Quillfish is 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 just amazing, unless you have a Psychic type. It's very bulky in defense. You have to hit it with something special. They go for Leech Seed. Uh, that's probably going to save them you know, here, because I'm thinking, well, shit. Now you know the next Liquidation isn't going to kill it, and they got back a lot with their Black Sludge. But then they switch over to Archaeops. So I decided to bring in Bear Tick, which is actually a mistake. I just wanted to shake off the Leech Seed. Um, he's going to go down immediately to Head Smash. I would have rather that my Quillfish take that, but I wanted to get rid of those Leech Seeds. So I bring Feraligator out, and I'm thinking, are they going to stay in? Yeah, they stay in, and they use Head Smash. It does a lot of damage, um, but they're not going to survive an Ice Punch, especially after all that recoil from two Head Smashes in a row. So... Um, in comes Crobat. They just saw me do Ice Punch, but they're going to outspeed me. Fortunately for me, I live the Brave Bird and that Ice Punch, well, they're not going to live that. So Crobat's going to go down. They probably thought Brave Bird would take me down there. So Whimsicott comes back in. They know I have Ice Punch, but they're going to outspeed me uh, with Moonblast, which is going to take my uh, Feraligator down. So it's 2v2 here. I reveal my last Pokemon as being Florges. So they went for Leech Seed, which I pretty much expected. I did not want it on my Quillfish. I went for Moonblast and Whimsicott. Bop, boop, beep, he's done. So all that's left is Marshadow. Marshadow has a really troubling typing. I mean, it's Ghost and Fighting type. They went for Spectral Thief. That does a lot of damage. I went for Moonblast. That also does a lot of damage. So my thought is they're going to do another Spectral Thief here. But um, I don't really want them to get back a lot of health from my uh, leftovers. Uh, not my uh, Leech Seed. So... I just decide to, because um, I figure if I swap, they're just going to Leech Seed again. So I bring in the Mars Shadow. That's going to cut his attack even more. They go for another Spectral Thief. You know, Quillfish is very bulky, like I said. Liquidation's going to end it, and that's game. So we got uh, two more to show you. This one is versus uh, Frodo plus Gandalf. I think they mean Gandalf, but uh, there you go. Let's switch sides here. So they have a Levani lead, and I have a Rotom Heat lead. I'm like, oh, they're going to switch. There's no way they're going to stay in for overheat. But then they do stay in, so I'm thinking, what the hell? So they set up sticky webs. I'm thinking, all right, they're just in for sticky webs. Now they're going to switch. No, I'm using Thunderbolt because I'm expecting them to bring in a water type to counter the fact that I'm going to use overheat. But 
obviously this person is not into swapping. So they get me with X scissor, which sucks. I'm thinking, well, they're not gonna swap. I'm just gonna use overheat at this point. And I take out the Levani. I could have done that on turn one and saved myself some trouble, but I thought they were smarter than that. So they bring out Entei. I'm thinking, well, it might have flash fire or something. I bring in Superior. And uh, Superior has the contrary ability. I decided to try to get off a of Stone Edge. Unfortunately, I, uh, I, I didn't hit. And I, they weren't willing to stick around because of my, uh, my speed being up. So Thunderous comes into the glare that I was trying to do to Entei. Unfortunately, that doesn't work on Thunderous. So I start going for Dragon Pulse. Um, but it's, it's not the damage. So saying that Superior has the contrary ability where basically anything that would drop its stats will raise it instead. So it actually is boosted by the sticky webs. So I bring in my Bibarel. It takes a hit in power. I don't know what type that was because it doesn't interact with Bibarel. I went for quick attack just to get some chip damage off because I know this, this Bibarel is toast at this point. That quick, that uh, hit in power did all the damage. Bibarel, you know, Bibarel kind of sucks. He doesn't have that much utility. So I bring in Hydreigon. Um... It has Levitate, so I don't have to worry about the sticky webs. It takes the Thunderbolt really well, and I go for Draco Meteor. Um, I think the crit might have even mattered. That's going to take Thunderous down. So, um, you know, this is interesting. They bring in Majarna. Majarna is a huge problem. I went for Super Power. It, it doesn't do much. And now, like, my special attack's already down. My attack and my defense are down. And they're using Shift Gear, so I'm like, crap, this is not good. Uh, now they have... 2x speed and, and one and a half times attack. So I switched in um, Rotom Heat, which takes the Ice Beam really well. I figured they were gonna go for Ice Beam uh, because of course I'm using a Dragon type. Unfortunately, they also have Aura Sphere. So Rotom found out the hard way and it has the Soul Heart ability, so its special attack is continually going up. This Mage Arn is a major threat. So I sent in my Magmortor. Uh, Magmortor um, can take, you know, he's pretty bulky. He takes the Aura Sphere pretty well. I go for Fire Blast, and that's going to end it for the Mage Arn. That thing was a major, major issue for me. So I figure they're probably going to bring an Entei here, right? That's what would make sense, and that's what they actually did this time. So they went for Stone Edge, unfortunately. I didn't know that this Entei had Stone Edge, and of course, when they use it, it hits. So that's uh, bop boop beep for him. So I bring Hydra Gun back in. He takes a Stone Edge pretty well. I start to think, well, maybe he's locked into that. I went for Earth Power. It's a little more than half health. Uh, they went for Stone Edge again. They That time they got a critical. I probably would have lived that, but that was a critical, and he's done. So I bring out Venomoth, uh, just figuring, well, maybe I can get something going with him. They actually swapped out to Samurott, which was really interesting. I had just gone for Bug Buzz just to get chip damage, but it does a lot more damage to Samurott. They go for Swords Dance. I'm thinking, this is really interesting. So I went for Sludge Bomb. Um, I get the poison off and some pretty good damage. So I'm feeling pretty good about this, but their attack is up. I figured they're going to kill my Venomoth. They went for Sacred Sword. Of course, that doesn't do much to Venomoth because he is bug type. So the next Sludge Bomb is going to take the Samurai down. So I'm really wondering what this person is even doing at this point. Um, I mean, they're, they're making some good decisions, some bad decisions. Their last Pokemon is Silvali. It goes for multi-attack. Uh, there's no way I'm going to take that. But really, he should have killed my Venomoth several turns ago. So I bring in my Superior. He gets a boost from the contrary Sticky Webs. And I use Leaf Storm, which does a little more than half damage. It's going to be two hits. Um, and of course, I get a you know, a, a boost there. They went for Flamethrower. It's not going to be enough. Superior is actually pretty bulky. And the second Leaf Storm is going to easily take them out. You know, normally Leaf Storm... Um, drains your special attack each time you use it but that contrary ability is just it's just really great so in comes Entei um Entei obviously has a type advantage over me I went for glare um that's gonna paralyze him so at least now I'll outspeed it and he might not be able to move dragon pulse is gonna take him down um he did get paralyzed there after I used glare so that was pretty great I thought he had it you know uh, but uh, I managed to squeak out a win there gg so this last one is versus Billy236LT. Make sure the music is off. All right. So here comes Honchcrow. That's my start off. And there's his Electivire. So I ain't sticking around for this. I bring in Quagsire because I'm thinking here comes Thunderbolt or Thunder or something. Actually, Wild Charge. It doesn't matter. It's not going to work on Quagsire. They know that I'm going to do an Earth-type move, a earth Ground-type move. Um, I had actually gone for Toxic. So that was a really good swap to Garbodor. They went for Toxic. Of course, I can't Toxic it. So um, I thought they would predict the Earthquake. They actually predicted the, the Toxic. So Earthquake does a lot of damage to Garbodor. He's staying in to get off Spike. So I'm like, well, obviously he's not going to leave. Um, I went for Scald just in case he did swap, but um, he didn't. So Quagsire has a lot of hit points, so I'll be around for a little while, but that Toxic is a problem. Here comes Corsola. 
it's got an air balloon, you guys. So they went for power jam. Obviously, that's not going to do a lot. It's got an air balloon, you guys. I never see that until it's too late. I had gone for earthquake. So I'm like, shit, now I have to hit it with something else. And my toxic is racking up, and they're hitting me with power gem. And it's, even though it's not very effective, that was a crit. So I hit it with scald, pop the balloon. Unfortunately, I don't get a burn, but that's okay. You know, this quags are isn't long for this world. I should have had this thing dead before. I should have started off with scald and then used earthquake. So I finally get an earthquake off. Of course, it doesn't do a lot of damage. So that just kind of sucks. Quasar goes down to the poison. So, yeah. So I bring in Dunsparce because, you know, Dunsparce the Mighty. This is not as good as a Dunsparce as the other. I went for Coil uh, just to boost my stats because I figure, what can it do to me that's going to kill me instantly? Nothing. They went for Skull. They're obviously hoping for a burn. I went for Bite. Um, they are outspeeding me, so... Um, oh, actually, I'm outspeeding them. Um, so I did get the flinch there. I went for the second bite, and that's going to take him down. And uh, and it's doing pretty good damage because of the uh, the life orb obviously boosts everything. So here comes Cobalion. Um, they went for Volt Switch. They're obviously just trying to chip me out and uh, bring in Polyrath. So I'm thinking, okay, that's really interesting. I had gone for bite anyway. Um, that's not super effective, obviously, but um, and I don't get the... Uh, I don't get the... I, I, I got outsped, so... <laughs> They ice beam it in. Here comes Haxorus. Now I'm thinking, you're thinking, why would you bring in Haxorus when he just literally used Earth Beam? Well, because I can outspeed him and use Earthquake. That's why. So I get off the Earthquake. They get off the Ice Beam. It's obviously going to do a lot of damage. But Haxorus is a single type dragon. It's not double weak to ice like you know, like a dragon flying or dragon ground. So I'm able to take out the Polyrath, and I go down to my Life Orb. So <coughs> you know, it's dead even right now. So I sent in Hunch Crow because well, he's immune to the spikes. They sent in Cobalion. So uh, they went for Volt Switch. That's super effective, but they're going to have to swap now. And uh, they bring in Clink Clang. Clink Clang really grinds my gears. So um, that was the last episode. So I went for Brave Bird. Obviously, Clink Clang is going to take that really well. And they went for Wild Charge. So I'm thinking, damn, Kabalian has Volt Switch. They have an Electivire, which obviously has uh, Wild Charge. And this thing has, well, everybody has an Electric-type move that's left. So I sent in Rabombi. Rabombi's not a great Pokemon, but um, he really made stuff happen here. I get off the Hidden Power. It just barely lives it. Um, they got off the Gear Grind. But look, Rabombi killed something. I mean, technically, he went down to his um, Life Orb, but Rabombi killed something. Told you he would make something happen. So my last Pokemon is Virizion. That's pretty much the perfect one to deal with Kabalion and uh, Electivire. Focus Blast is going to body this Kabalion. And then the last Pokemon is Electivire, so I'm kind of worried that it might have a Fire-type move, but let's see what happens. I hit it with Focus Blast. It's a two-hit KO, so I'm thinking, well, what does he have? He has Flamethrower. Thankfully, it's not Fire Blast or something worse than Flamethrower. I'm able to uh, take that and Focus Blast. Thankfully, it doesn't miss, and that is game. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you soon with more battles and more videos.